classical music. Elegant, sophisticated, and always in good taste. None of that is actually true. We believe those things because of commercials for expensive cars, jewelry, and fancy chocolates. Classical music's been used to sell luxury for a long time. So a lot of people think the music is a luxury too. Something for the background at a stuffy cocktail party. I disagree. I think classical music is as intense and exciting as anything you've ever heard. And I've made it my mission to get more people interested in it. But let's face it, dressed like this, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> now, 100 years ago, audiences wore these clothes, so it made sense that orchestras would too. But times and those audiences have changed. So I'd like to change too. I'm really tired of dressing like the butler from Downton Abbey when I go to work. <laughs> so while I take care of that, let's solve classical music's other big problem. People think it's complicated, hard to understand, and somehow different. Here are some pieces of music that work the same way as what I just played. We need to get out more. Thank you. That's so much better, isn't it? All those pieces of music repeat themselves. Each one's got a little idea that comes back again and again till it's stuck in your head. And all good musicians use these little ideas. The only real difference is what you call them. Now, classical musicians call them motifs. Jazz musicians call them riffs or licks. And pop musicians call them retirement plans. The point is, <laughs> all music works the same way. Now, I grew up in the classical music world. Both my parents were musicians. But when I was in seventh grade, I discovered Jimi Hendrix. And for the next two years, I listened to nothing else. And later on, it was these guys. Hip hop was just starting to get big. And what I've discovered over the years is great music, whatever kind it is, whether I'm listening to it or playing it, it gets inside of me and will not let go. So I'm hoping this next piece will do the same thing for you. It's one of my favorite pieces of classical music, but it's not elegant, it's not sophisticated, and there's not a lot of good taste to be had either. In fact, to me, it really sounds like a really nasty argument. I hope you like it. I hope it changes your idea of what classical music is and that you'll want to hear some more. Thank you. Thank you. 